Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be talking to you about channel updates and some new stuff, even more new than the things that I've been talking about actually. So I'm actually currently waiting for a lot of testing equipment and last night I've actually was able to get my hands on a spectrum analyzer and that should be here and it's a pretty sweet spectrum analyzer. Now this thing can, you know, from basically 0 megahertz all the way up to the 6 gigahertz range, which which means I can actually see everything from FR sky, fly sky, VTXs, uh, cro the, the crossfire. I can see saving my phone, making a phone call. It's, it's pretty insane, actually. Um, so I'm going to be able to do a lot of unique and crazy testing on VTXs and latency testing. So I finally got a four channel oscilloscope. It's on the way. All thanks to you guys, uh, the Patreons out there. However, this was um, kind of, you know, not from what the channel was making. This was from my own money. But I thought it really needed it to actually take everything to a whole new level. And um, I've already started the Excel sheet. It'll be linked down below. Uh, each tab will have, you know, whatever I've been testing. I'm actually doing retesting everything and, and inserting it into the Excel sheet now. So you might say, okay, well, you've tested so many more. Where are they? Well, I'm doing retesting and I'll be even making update videos on this stuff. I'll have a lot of crazy things coming up. So I've set up a nice schedule, a nice playlist uh, of things to come. A lot of things to come, actually. And um, I, I really can't wait uh, for, for, for most of the testing equipment to come. So, for example, what can we do now? Well, now I can actually do proper VTX reviews. However, I won't be able to do range for you and all that kind of stuff. Um, but what I will be doing is showing you exactly how clean they run and if they do bleed and how much do they bleed into other channels in a very detailed um, graph. It's just, it's insanely beautiful. You'll see it once it comes. So that's one thing I'll be able to do on VTX. Is I'll also incorporate the noise testing into the VTX. Uh, we'll do noise testing while recording the DVR footage and watching uh, the FPV feed as well as looking at the oscilloscope. So we're going to be doing that as well. Uh, the RF power meter. Basically, we see how much power is it really outputting what it's saying, uh, the amount of amps it's drawing, and just all of that amazing, crazy good stuff. I really can't wait to get started. It's just awesome. So that's also going to be a new chapter in this channel. And they will also be added to the Excel sheet. Now, the Excel sheet is um, pretty much done, kind of. What I'm doing is I'm ad actually adding all the data that I'm retesting. I haven't added the old data because I just want to get more measurements in, like I've done with the recent one, like from the Tico, the Racer Star V2s, the Bullets, you know, all those. Those are currently inside the Excel sheet. It's linked down below. And each tab has a specific product, and it'll be updated quite frequently, actually. So... For example, you'll have a tab for ESCs, a tab for FPV cameras with their latency and their options, um, a tab for VTXs very soon on the channel. Uh, so it's just going to be pretty cool. We're also going to test latency. Did I say that? Uh, we're going to test latency on these guys. I figured out the best way to actually do this. And, um, you know, it's not recording through your phone and counting milliseconds. No, no, it's not that. You'll see it for yourself. The data will speak for itself. I don't have to say anything, really. So this video is um, a huge thank you video for all your support, all your kind comments, all your likes, all your dislikes, my Patreons, my you, everyone, everyone, I really want to thank you guys. If it wasn't for you, I would not be here, and I cannot emphasize that enough, and I wish to make every each and every single one of you as happy as I possibly could. Now, uh, I do. I am replying to all of my emails. Sometimes I might be two days late, but I, I just gone through all my emails. I'm checking all the comments. I'm just doing as much as I can and just trying to make everybody happy as well as getting, getting us some good uh, information about the products we're purchasing so we can make a right purchase or an educated per per purchase at least. We just hit 11k subs the other day, uh, which is just unbelievable really. Uh, we just barely hit 10k and all of a sudden we just hit 11k. Uh, it's just been an awesome ride and I uh, hope I hope I really do hope I get to continue this and that is my goal and that is my plans and I have plenty of more data to come the stuff is just endless um, there's so many things that I haven't even mentioned that I'm also planning on doing that I just keep forgetting because there's so many things I'm just taking it one step at a time and right now I'm just waiting for a lot of testing equipment to come for example, uh, a power supply, a 60 amp power supply, so I can get consistent results on ESCs. Now you might say, well, that does not simulate real life. Yes, it does not simulate real life. That is not the purpose of it. The purpose of it is to apply exactly, let's just say 50 amps consistently to an ESC 
play with the timing and seeing what that differs because from there we actually know what to do we don't have to because the battery is very inconsistent and it's just a very big headache so i really want this to be as consistent as possible to get us a good baseline reading now you might say okay well well i want the real world test it well yeah that's coming also currently my um my three axis gimbal for my quad is being machined at the current moment of time. Hopefully it'll be here before the end of the month. Uh, what that'll enable me to do is basically just build a quad, strap it on, put a battery on it, do maneuvers and take all kinds of measurements. Now this is just going to be insane. Uh, this has never been done before. And uh, this is just going to open a whole new world for us. And we're just going to see all kinds of data. Um, and it's just going to be awesome. And another thing what's so cool about this, what I can actually do is I can actually see if there is RF noise being generated through a noisy setup. So you might say, well, what does that mean? Well, that means that some, you know, ESCs are obviously noisy. And that noise going back and forth can create some RF signal at 900 megahertz or at 2.4 gigahertz. I don't think it'll go up to 2.4, but you never know. I'm just saying, uh, which could cause fail safes. So this is a amazing chapter i really cannot wait to get my hands on all this stuff and just put it all together and just create just awesome documentation and just research and just it's just going to be beautiful really um i don't know if you're excited as me but i'm just every morning i wake up i'm just checking a trillion tracking numbers waiting for them to get here and um it's just it's just been awesome I really can't thank you guys enough, and I really hope I'm not letting any of you down. Uh, I'm really doing my best, and it, I promise you I'll keep increasing the quality and the quantity. I will try to do two videos a day very soon. Uh, currently, I'm still kind of still organizing myself. I, I actually wake up at 4 in the morning just, you know, without even an alarm. I just drink my coffee. I don't even drink my coffee, which is pretty crazy. I just get in the car and just come to the office and just make myself coffee here or workshop, and I just start doing everything. I check the emails. I'm... I'm and I really hope I'm going to keep bringing you guys great content and uh, just letting the data speak for itself. And um, yeah, the Excel sheet is also going to have all my data into it. So you can also use that. The, the, the Excel sheet does have affiliate link in there. So, you know, th that goes for really supporting the channel. Also, if you can't be a Patreon, uh, I need all the support I could possibly get. And I'm not trying to you know, be a beggar or anything, but any support really goes a long way because all these things are not not for free. They're, they're pretty actually pretty expensive, to be honest. Um, I'm, not, I'm not here to complain. I'm just saying any support goes an absolute long way and it'll keep the channel running the same way it is and even better. So any support in that perspective is just going to be beautiful. And uh, any Patreon support is just awesome. Um, I'm just really hoping that this channel will soon start making, you know, like you hopefully someday. I know it's almost impossible, but maybe you never know. Uh, just I could survive off the YouTube ad revenue, but that's still a long way from now. <clears throat> and that's, that's actually that's my wish because then I just bring everything I want, test everything I want, and just release the data. This is what I'm doing now, but you know, just have that peace of mind that, you know, um, am I going to be able to get food for the house tomorrow or something? You know, I don't want to have to think about that. I just want to come here and just think about this and go home and see my family, and that's it. So everything is going great. Uh, I promise you, you're just going to be stunned by the new content. Um, I, I can't wait. I just have a smile on my face every time I think of everything like, oh, I'm going to do this. Oh, I'm going to do this. Oh, I'm going to do this. And now I'm here and I'm actually doing all that stuff. And uh, it's, it's just, it's amazing, really. Um, I enjoy every single bit of it. It doesn't even feel like work. The time flies like crazy. I wish I had more time in the day. I wish I could work 24 hours instead of 12 hours right now. But um, yeah, there's a lot more things to come, more builds. Uh, the builds are going to be a little bit delayed now, just a tiny bit, because I want to test a lot of more equipment. I want to actually get that Excel sheet that I promised you. The template might change in design and the way I set it up. Uh, I didn't want to make you guys wait too long, but I made something just very simple. You could filter through it. You could see it. it's very nice and easy, simple to understand. And I will, you know, be editing it as time goes on as I see where it needs more editing. But all the information is there. Um, even I have a rating system one through five. I rate it based upon a lot of things quality of the MOSFETs, uh, how it ran, obviously the noise is the most important thing here, and all that kind of good stuff. And for example, the Tico 32 ESCs were one of the best ESCs. Now, there's something pretty interesting here about the cameras. Now, the Cat X, this one, seems to be the fastest camera on the planet, well, at least through from Oscar Leong's testing. So I'm going to go ahead and get a baseline measurement of some of the cameras that he's tested and seeing if we actually get a difference. Now, someone on my previous video actually commented and said something pretty um, intelligent. 
he said that you know the, the screen that he's testing with also has a delay uh, per frame per everything so this stuff we can get completely different measurements however my measurements are just you know they're they're, they're with the oscilloscope the oscilloscope never lies so we're gonna see if if there is kind of a difference and what's online is is incorrect or it could be absolutely correct so uh that's gonna be pretty interesting if everything online is correct this is the fastest camera so far that has been tested uh or that is known of currently so some people this one guy said that this this is using possibly a rolling shutter now i don't know if it is but i mean it's it's possible that is why it's so quick uh, but i will be researching this stuff and taking this guy apart and taking a look at the sensor and trying to figure out what's in here what makes it so good but before let's test like the run cam swift and the fox here xat 600m you know those regular ones that everybody uses especially myself i'm just a run cam swift guy and a fox here xat 600 why because they're cheap and they're good i never have any issues with them so yeah this is going to be pretty interesting also i do have a lot more camera things coming on and the most important thing that i'm really loving about is the vtx latency i have the perfect setup for it i'm just waiting for the uh components to arrive because it's just going to be beautiful i wonder how much latency you know vtx's have so that's going to be pretty cool also so we can actually figure out the least latency setup on this planet uh which is going to be pretty awesome actually uh, it's just gonna be crazy the cleanest the fastest the you know just crazy oh yeah another thing i'll be able to test however this is just a theory but it's very possible i can test if fr sky protocol fly sky protocol the crossfire protocol how susceptible to interference they are now with my spectrum analyzer it's also it works as, a, as, as kind of a waveform generator but into the sky so i can actually play and send all kinds of um data out and uh seeing if it, it'll interfere with this stuff and we can see if we can trigger fail safes uh seeing how much amount of noise into the air we can inject before we get a fail safe or you know some kind of crazy things so this stuff is going to be pretty interesting actually I, i'm i'm really interested in it myself actually um i'm doing less flying and just more testing but anyways i really can't the weather is just absolutely terrible it's like negative five and negative ten it's terrible here right now so so it gives me something to do and it gives us something to watch and um yeah so i really hope you guys enjoyed my videos lately please let me know what you guys think down in the comment section um i do have a lot more things coming up on the channel uh some things that i have I will, I'll, when i revisit a product i'll revisit four of them at once so i don't waste your time with something you've already seen and you know it's just a waste of a video really so i would do like you know what i did with the emacs bullet dysds racer star v2 you know just put like a little compilation or a little shootout and um yeah put them there and then obviously at the same time i do that i'll add them to the excel sheet and the excel sheet would be updated however keep checking the excel sheet because sometimes it'll be updated before a video comes up because i just work on it i upload it and then, you know i start editing the video and then i prepare it and upload it and release so the excel sheet is very important keep monitoring it uh that'll, that'll it'll give you like kind of also a sneak preview of what could what is coming on on the channel what's next so uh if you'd be interested in that you could also see that and that's it guys so um i really thank you for all your support all your comments all your everything guys and um if it wasn't for you like i said before i wouldn't be here today and um i'm just i hope i just really do hope that i can keep creating good content and uh something useful for you guys and well that's it guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and i really hope you if you would be able to consider joining my patreon to give me that peace of mind and joining a mission where we could just document and test every single thing we possibly can and if you can't it's totally fine also you could use the affiliate links you don't even have to purchase the same thing um you could just click on the link right before you purchase and that'll send me a couple cents and like i said before it all adds up um you know i can make maybe like 10 bucks and uh, you know, that'll go for a camera you know need another 10 bucks maybe i pay for my pocket i get another camera uh to test or something so it's gonna be pretty good and pretty interesting and uh, youtube i have a giveaway i think i'm going to be giving away for youtube the tico 32 escs with maybe the Hollybro all-in-one uh, v2 flight controller and for patreon i'm giving away two micros i still don't know which ones but i think it's the jeb rc sparrow and the diatone uh the, the new diatone gtr 90 and that's it guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you next time see you guys take care